Commander James? Hello? Come in, Commander James. Can you hear me? Do you read me? Commander James? Commander James? Commander James, are you there? Are you dead? Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm here, Wayne, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, what's the plan? Uh, uh, what, Major 1 and 2 in, um, T position, T position A. Enough of your jokes, Commander James. Are you in position? Do you copy me? Yes, Wayne, all agents are in position. It's all ready to go. But you should eat chilli biscuits. Speaking of agents, you got any pretty really fancy biscuits? No, I will not chill my biscuits, Commander James. Take them shaken. Not chill. Anyway, where should we eat? Your place, Commander Wayne. Code Snail. Commander James L. Code Snail, got it. Commander Wayne L. Agents in position. All of them. Excellent. Okay, so, parallel perpendicular lines, but first. Eight points. Yes, so far T down. Maths time. Indeed, so midpoint as Triv said. Um, it will give you a line on a graph like that. It will give you the points at either end. So say this point is one, two, and this point is say three, four. And it'll say, what's the midpoint? So you're trying to find the middle point of this line in coordinate form. Absolutely, and as every part of line graph and good part of maths has a special equation. It does have its special little shortcut. So you're trying to find coordinates, I'll put it in big because there's a little equation as it were. There is. So you want an x and a y, your x is first, your y is second. Mm -hmm. But what are these two things? Well you add the two x's together, so x1, which is our 1, but I'll write x1 here and I'll rewrite it in a second, and then plus x2, which would be this one, and then all of that's divided by 2. Yep, and then the other half I'll is the same. Quickly for you then. Go okay. on. It's the same, but... y1 plus y2 over 2, that's how you do it. It is, so these things would be 3 plus 1, which is 4, over 2. Yep, because x1 is 1, that's the first coordinate, and the second coordinate is 3. Yep, and the y's be 4 plus 2, which is 6 over 2. So our final coordinate midpoint is 2, which is 4 divided by 2, uh, no, uh, 2 and 3. And that would be the coordinate of the midpoint. Absolutely. Not very complicated, you just have to remember that. In this case, because it's um, simple numbers, you could literally think what's in the middle of 1 and 3, it's going to be 2, and what's in the middle of 2 and 4, it's going to be 3. You can see it in this case. That would this work as well. Useful if it's a further spread line or more awkward numbers. Yeah. But next on to parallel and perpendicular lines. So what are parallel and perpendicular lines with? Well thank you. A parallel line is a line that's exactly the same gradient as the other line. So the M's would be the same. They are Y equals MX plus C. And it runs along next to it. Like a train track, this is like a train track, it runs along at the same thing. So this is y equals something x plus c. As Triv said, the m, the gradient, would be the same, but the y-intercept would be different. So if you keep drawing this... Yep, it would go for a different point. This may even be below the uh, zero. But that's the only thing that will change where it intercepts this y-axis. The m will stay identical. Yeah. And do you there anything exciting with them, Wayne, or just know what they are? Not really, but I'll give you an example question anyway. All right. If I give you, um, say a line has equation y equals 3x plus 4, say, um, and you're told a parallel line goes through the point A, 1, 4, that's point A, the parallel line runs through that, what's the y-intercept of the parallel line. Cool, okay, so what you do is, the similarity is the m. So it would be y equals 3x, now we don't know our c. And that's what you're trying to find out, it asks what the y-intercept is. But it gives you what an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate are. So your y-coordinate is 4, and your x-coordinate is 1, so it becomes 3 times 1 plus c. So that equals 4 equals 3 plus c. Take away 3 from both sides, your c will equal 1. And that would be your answer. 
And that's it for Paranormal Minds. Just it is. Give your trick question, trick question there. All right. Agent update, Wayne. We've taken point B. But we've lost Jim, so we'll have to sort that out a bit while. Oh, okay. Okay. I think I think you'll probably have to take Jim's position. I think I, I might have to I miss Jim. I'm going to miss Jim. We'll pay our respects later. All right. So quickly on to perpendicular lines. So what are they, Trev? I'll draw you up an axis. Oh, I'll right. draw you a straight line. What's the perpendicular? Well, the perpendicular line is sort of the opposite of the train track thing. It's a crossroads. So it goes the opposite gradient well. Right angle would be here. And yes. there is a relationship with the gradient, but it's not quite as simple as the last one. It's called the reciprocal. Yeah, which is a scary word, but it just means... One over the original M, and the negative version of it. So that would be equal to the original M. So, if the gradient of this black line I've drawn here was, say, 2, the gradient of the one that Triv drew, this blue one, which is the purple minus a half. It's always the opposite sign, and then it's 1 over there. Absolutely. Um, you'll get similar questions to what we had before. I'll give you another example just to go through it. Okay. Y equals... I'm going to make it quite tricky. Alright. Minus Ooh. 4x plus 3. And the perpendicular line goes through the point A, which this time I'm going to say is 2, 4. Work out the y-intercept C of the perpendicular line. So it's the same question as before, but perpendicular. Okay, you do it in the same way. So you, it'll be y equals. But our gradient is going to be quite different. So our second gradient will equal the first gradient, like that. So it will equal minus one over minus four. And that's why I purposely did this minus just to make it a little bit trickier, because here it goes from 2 to minus a half, but now you're starting on minus 4. So you, then the minus then disappears on both of these, so it just becomes a quarter. It does. A minus times a minus is a plus, remember. It's the sort of thing that might trip people up and makes it a bit harder. Absolutely. So, so now we have these, then we can go in as before. So we have our 2 of our x and our 4 of our y, so 4 equals a quarter amount of 2. Plus c, so that means 4 equals a half, because it's 2 quarters. 2 quarters is a half, it's the same thing. Plus c minus a half from both sides, so it'd be 3 and a half. Yeah, I'll keep it as a mixed number, I think. And that will equal c, so your final equation, which I don't know if I did last time, no, but... will equal, I might write it here so you can see it easier, y equals a quarter, a quarter x, x, perpendicular reciprocal of the original, plus three and a half. And that'd be the final form. Yes, I'm... Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hang on. All right. Just a second. Hello? Is it good news, oh. Wayne? I'm afraid not. Oh, no. Frank's died as well, the same as oh. Jim. We met the same fate, oh. so I'm going to have to take his position. Well, let's get the time of their, their position is going to have to make a difference, Wayne, although... Is it time I'm, for C? It's like time uh, yeah, for C. I think it is. We're going to have to move into position and take their things. Be firing with the wrong hand. Damage this one. I'll watch out for you. Alright, let's go. go.